Checking on Money Matters this morning, two companies in particular are teaming up to tackle supply chain problems. And there were complaints about a problem at a baby formula plant months earlier than previously thought. Jane King joins us live in the NASDAQ with those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. Good morning, Jane. Hi, Bruce and Jen. Good, Good morning. morning. So Abbott reportedly received former employees warnings on baby formula and the plant earlier than previously known. A Wall Street Journal exclusive report says in February of 2021, a former employee said some equipment was failing at the plant and baby formula was released that wasn't approved for consumption. Now Abbott says it wasn't able to confirm those allegations. Well, Procter & Gamble announced a partnership with Microsoft to build the future of digital manufacturing. The agreement is going for several years, it will use Microsoft's cloud computing service to do what they say would be bringing products to consumers faster, increase customer satisfaction, and improve productivity and reduce costs. Well, Twitter has agreed to hand over what they're calling a fire hose of data, comprising more than 500 million tweets daily to Elon Musk. Now, the Washington Post says this is in response to Musk's threat to pull the plug on the deal because he doesn't trust the information he's gotten so far from Twitter on spam and bot accounts. And Amazon Amazon says it's blocked 4 billion counterfeit listings from being posted and scrubbed more than 3 million phony products from its site. This report says that Amazon blocked more than 2.5 million attempts to create fake accounts as well. That was a 58% decline from 2020, and the company attributes that drop-off to its vetting process and other efforts to discourage bad actors. Life in the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King.